Hello everyone, welcome to The Pit Stop. I'm your host, Raja, and today I'm joined by my very special friend. Laganja Stranja. <coughs> yes, God, honey, she's back, back, back again. <coughs> you okay there, Mayor? Yeah, it's all good. If you don't cough, it ain't working. Okay, okay. First things first, Eureka. Eureka's yes. gone. Eureka had to leave. It she was had an emer- to go. it was a medical emergency. She had to go. And Farah, right off the bat, she's, you know, she's upset about it. She's really, really distraught about it. Eureka's gone, and I'm gonna miss her so much. She was instantly my best friend since day one. Well, Farah is very Farah moan and complain and be concerned. You Farrah know, whines, she's very Farah moans, Farah, yeah. But she also decided to call out Nina. Ooh, oh, the Nina. shade, Throw honey. Around. She did. She called her out. Nina, do you really want to be here? Ooh! Because it feels like you don't. How do you feel about this whole? Well, I wasn't really expecting Farah to call her out, because mm-hmm. to me, she's very kind of, not quiet, but she's very to herself, mm-hmm. well-mannered, you yeah. know, kind of the sweet girl. So I was a little shocked. Very so, sweet, sometimes so too sweet. I knew she had to like really feel it mm-hmm. in order to call Nina out, you right, know? Like, right. I don't think she would have just done that just to be catty or anything like that. Okay, so I think yeah. she really felt like, hey, I'm trying my all, why aren't you? Alexis decides to call out some people too. Now, Alexis has been calling people out though from jump. But I I think she was gonna go for it the way she did in this one. I think she okay. like went down the line. It's time to trim the fat. Nina for being negative, Farah for not being able to stick out from the bunch, and Cynthia for not being able to do anything except Cynthia. What the hell's going on with Alexis? Well, she was the winner, so obviously she's doing something right. Mm-hmm, I think she mm-hmm. clearly has got her uh, head in the game, if yes. you will. To me, she reminds me a little bit of Bianca on my season. Ooh, um, how so? How so? Well, she's a little bit older, more established. Okay. So she's got a lot of confidence. Mm-hmm. She knows the game. Mm-hmm. She knows what kind of steps and ways and moves and. You know, mm-hmm. she's in the group. She's yes. got it. We're going right into this. There is no mini challenge. It's just There is maxi. no mini challenge. And we've uh-uh. had that this season a lot, no? Yes, we have. Yeah, there's... I think they're just ready to get to it. I was ready to get to it, and it is one of my favorite things to see on Drag Race uh, anytime is the Snatch Game. Hello. Uh, Alexis I know. Michelle as well, Liza. Course. It's brilliant. You know, because uh, I've seen... She fully embodied the character. Yes. Even with the way she took her breath. Yes, and I appreciate seeing someone do Liza and do it well because it is part of that tradition of drag to do Agree. a Liza Minnelli impersonator. Liza, a Barbara, Cher, Barbara. Right. Yeah, and it was really great to see that. I also love Shea Coulee. Her Naomi Campbell was spot on. She killed me the minute she opened that mouth. She said, honey, but I taste 15. Oh I my said, God. Yes, Not the baby. prepaid cricket. No, she turned it. The she turned it. had jokes. Your crew confiscated my phone, but luckily my good friend back here had a little pre prepaid cricket phone that she let me <laughs> borrow for, for the afternoon. We saw a little bit of suffering as well. We saw poor, poor, we dear. Cynthia Lee oh, Fontaine. Yes. This is not the shade or shade I'm not, you know, because I love her so much. I just me. Uh, she struggled and she did. She did. And she had such a good choice. You know, I thought like, oh, this is gonna be good, this is smart. And in the workroom, I was like, mm, it's making me nervous, but she'll she'll do it. She'll yeah. do it. But no. I think what she may have needed to do was to kind of pull back a little bit. And I think she kind of took it to like Sofia Vergara as like a Tijuana prostitute in 1974. Yeah. Next, oh, I am so excited about this runway, girl. You know, Ooh. the runway, the runway, the runway. That's what I live for, to be Me honest. Me too. Like, I just I, want a runway. I know. I watch all the drama in between. And, yeah. I, and of course, I'm amused and I'm following along. But yeah. I really want to see what they were on the runway. Because, Give me the look. Because that's my tea. I love to do the runway. OK. And this is my favorite. Because I made such a big stink online about the first version of Madonna. One word of advice. Come on, no, she better don't. <laughs> <laughs> You did read the kids. Oh, I mean, for good I, reason, it for good was reason. appalling, in my opinion, that anyone could not have come with uh, come up with different looks. Sure. So to see this group, the sequel, Madonna looks on the runway, brought me all to life. Let's talk about some of the standouts. My first one would be Farama. That's who I was gonna say. <gasps> She nailed it to the T. Replica down. Honey, she called that one girl that, yep, she called that one bitch that beads in Thailand to make that headdress for her. The the outfit was absolutely impeccable. She pulled all the Vegas connections together for that one. Absolutely she did. I mean, mean, she like, she really ruled it. I have to say, I think my absolute favorite was Valentina. (gasps) Yet again. How could I 
I forget? I cannot take her, Mary. How could I forget? Her oh body my God. is gorgeous. And it, just, it was bronze, head to toe. Yeah. Ooh. You know, it was interesting because the, the way it was edited, it just kind of went by really quickly. And I needed to see more of that. Yeah, and a close up on the ass. I want to know how she tucked in the front and did all that. That I situation mean, was clever. I can hold a pack of number two pencils with a fold in my ass. She doesn't have that problem. It was plump, it was high, and it was bronzed. I thought Aja's look and Cynthia Lee's were very similar. They were just the most lackluster for me. Yeah, I was about to say, they weren't very imaginative. I didn't really feel like they caught the detail like Farrah had, how mm -hmm. she'd gotten every little bit. It was just very like, oh, well, Matador-esque, inspired yes. by giving you that Madonna feel. Cynthia, she is in the bottom two again. What do you think she's going through? I think she was taken aback, obviously, to be in the bottom again, but um, I think she was like, you know what, I'm in the bottom, but I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna give it my best and I'm gonna be crazy cuckoo and I'm gonna turn it. Were you surprised to see these two at the bottom? Were you surprised to see Peppermint? Were you surprised to see Cynthia at the bottom? To be honest, no. I really felt like this was this was the right bottom too. Even when it came down to Farah, I was like, okay, she was weak, but her runway look saved her. Right. So I, I felt like these two were the right two to be up against each other. It was really nice to see Peppermint perform because I've seen her perform in New York City and she is a very lively performer. She's one that, that doesn't take herself too seriously sure. and can be comedic at yeah, times. Yeah, I love that little move she did yeah, across the stage. Yeah, she hammered across the stage. It was hilarious. I was like, yes, and yeah. it was fun. And it, She shotgun fired. She knew that song. She knew it. And I think Rue made the right decision, uh, especially with that lip sync. I think Peppermint slayed it. So as the queen that returned this, this season, did you think that Cynthia was gonna last as long as she did and do as well as she did this season? To be honest, absolutely not. I Work! Thought, I thought she would come back and be sent home the next day. I really did. I feel like any girl who's like brought back or like comes back for a second chance, like mm -hmm. it's just like they're gone the next day. Like yeah. I just really did not think, I thought it would just be a cute little gag for episode two. You know, we get her back and then we'd lose her right away. Yeah. But I'm so happy we didn't and I'm so glad that she got to have a little revival and yeah. good for her, encore, honey. On whore. Yes. On whore. See you later, mis amores. Cuckoo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss Cynthia, and I'm definitely going to miss her cuckoo. Absolutely. Laganja, I had such a good time watching this episode. It was a riveting, to say the least. It yes. was such a fun one. Thank lot. you for the kiki. Yes, girl, and thanks for coming by. It is always a ton, a ton of fun to hang out with you. And thank you, everyone, for joining us this week on The Pit Stop. We'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Hey, squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.